Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cypress series. In today's video, we will learn how we can handle opening of link in the same tab. So let's say you have you're working on an application where the link opens in a new tab. Okay. But we know Cypress runs inside the browser. That's why it does not support for multiple browser tab. So in that case, how we can handle this scenario. In that case, we can manipulate our HTML so that our link opens in the same tab. Okay, it does not open in on a on the another tab. So let's try to understand uh, manually first. So there's a demo website. So there's a practice page website by Select This Hub. Okay, so there are multiple links on the page. Fine, and all these links opens a link in the new tab. Okay, for example, this is my link. If I click on this, it is actually opening in a new tab. But in Cypress, like we know, it does not support for multiple browser support. It will open a link, but you cannot have access to this page. You cannot access this page or access the content of this page. So in that case, we will try to open the link on the same page. If you click on it, it will be getting opened on the same page. Okay. So we need to understand the HTML first. So how we can do this? So whenever, let's say whenever you have a, whenever you have a link, so with that link, if there is an attribute, which is a target attribute, if the target attribute has a value underscore blank, that means your link will always open in a new tab. For example, let me show you for that. So I'll just inspect it. And over here, you can see we have a target attribute with, with the value underscore blank. Okay. That's why it's opening in a new tab. But if I remove it, if I remove my target underscore blank, now, if I click on this link, so it will open in the same tab. So you see, it will open in the same tab. So this is how you can manipulate your HTML so that you can open the link on the same tab. Okay. So same thing we will do through our code today. So let's, we will find a locator on the page and then we will remove the attribute. We will remove the target attribute. Okay. So let's find some uh, link. For example, we have multiple links. And we can see these are also links, username, user role. If I click on user role, okay. So this is again a link. So I will find the locator for this one. So I will use user role directly. Okay. So this is my locator. I'm passing the text. So let's go back to the ID and uh, write the code for it. I have already created a sample template for you. So I have written over here before it hook. So if you do not know about the mocha hooks, you can watch my previous video where I've explained about all the different mocha hooks, how we can use it and what is the functionality of this hook. So today we are going to see multiple approaches. So this is our fun, one of the first approach. So now I will write locator, the CY dot contains and my locator value is basically the text value, which I copied. Okay. So now what I said, like I mentioned, in this in this approach we are going to remove our target attribute so in order to remove it what we will do we will use dot invoke and we want to remove it so in that case i will pass remove attribute and which attribute we want to remove we want to pass that that attribute name also we want to remove target attribute okay and then i want to perform dot click action so this is a very simple code you have to find the locator and then you have to mention dot invoke. So it will, it will actually remove your attribute, which is the name of attribute is target from that locator. Okay. And then it will perform dot click action. So let's run our test case and see. Okay. So let's, I will just open the scenario. I will just open my test case. And opening new tab is my file name. So let's run it. So we can see the page, it will, it is trying to open the page. We have a page got opened and dot click action is also performed. And then we can see this link is actually opened on the same tab. Instead of opening in a new tab, it, it opens in the, in the same tab. Okay. So this was our first approach. Okay. So this is our first approach. We are, where we are uh, removing the attribute and then we are clicking on that. Okay. Next approach is the target value where we saw if the target values underscore blank, it will open in a new tag. But if the target values underscore self, then also it will open the link in the same tab. 
so we can in the second scenario we will change we will update the value of target to underscore self so that it opens a link in the same tab okay let's see it manually on the website first and then we will write the code so it it is actually better this way we we can first visualize how it works on our website and then we can write the code for it so let's see this one let's try to see some other locator for example i can find some other locator from it maybe this course link okay if i click on course link this is a new tab again so let me go over here so this is my course link and target is underscore blank so in the, in this case what i will do i will change it with underscore self okay so let me change the value so dot blank to underscore self and if i click on the course link now so you see it is getting opened in the same tab so same case we will handle through our automation code i will just copy the locator so the locator over here is course link and this is my text value let's go back to the code and i will write a new new it block because this is our second approach so let's write over here open new tab and approach to fine so let's write the callback function and inside that let's write our code so cy dot contains because we copied the text value so i'm using cy dot contains in this case course link and then what i have to do i have to invoke use dot invoke and i want to update the value of our attribute in this case fine so i will pass attribute and then which attribute value i want to change i want to change the value of target and what value we want to change i want to pass it over here which is underscore self so it is underscore self so what this code will do it will update your attribute which attribute target attribute and the value should be self so this is my value this is my uh, attribute name and it says we have to change the attribute value okay and then i am performing dot click so this is a very simple code where we are just opening a tab in a in the same uh, we are opening the link in the same tab but by just updating our attribute value fine so let's run this test case and see so let me run it uh, again so this time both our test case uh, should be running fine and both in both scenarios we can see there is no extra tab getting opened fine so in my first scenario also we can see there is no extra tab and in the second scenario also it clicked and now it should show so you see over here we have the new link now which is udemy.com right so that course link is actually opening the link in the same tab fine so these are the two ways how you can open the tab open the link in the new instead of new tab we, you can open the link in the same tab fine so while working in a automation project you will come across i'm sure you will come across such scenario where you have to open the link you know in the same tab and you want to verify the content you can verify you can use any one of these approach both are working fine both are actually uh, the correct way so one more thing i want to tell you you can also follow my blogs i also write on medium so you can follow my blogs on medium where i write about about testing and about cypress automation so i have written couple of blogs over here in case you are looking for some cypress blogs or uh, some other topics related to testing or related to any other automation so i have you can check my medium page as well so you can i hope it will be helpful for you fine so guys yeah that's it for the video I hope it's useful for you and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel I'll see you in the next video